Welcome back. Now, I'm gonna help you understand how incredibly powerful you are, how your emotions can carve and shape your future, the events and opportunities in your future, the future you're walking into this very next minute, not some far future, like now. You're gonna realize that you've had this incredibly powerful hidden ally this whole time, and now you're gonna know how to use it. Remember, flow dreaming is a unique blend of visualization, energy, flow, intention. It's a powerful practice that taps into the unlimited potential of the universe and aligns it with your deepest desires, your core self. It's a dance between your mind and the flow, life. It's where miracles happen and dreams become your everyday reality. I can't overstate that enough. I really want you to know why you're looking into this listening and intrigued. So when we left off, we were talking about how emotion is intensely powerful and how usually life is what pulls our feelings from us. We wait for life to give us reasons to feel the way we want to feel, but often life doesn't give us what we need and we don't get to feel how we want to feel. I mean, think about this. Is it truly life or someone else's responsibility to give us the reasons to feel how we want to feel? Is all that power outside of us just floating around in other people? We can't have our feelings, our needs met without something else to respond to or react to. Flow dreaming it really turns the tables. We no longer wait for life to allow us to feel certain ways. Instead, we tell our life, our futures, our higher power, higher self, your source, what it is we intend to feel. And then we ask life to line up whatever events people, etc., opportunities will align to that. In other words, you hold the power. Think of your blueprint as something your future is constantly referring to. Now, normally there's not much on it because we're so busy responding and putting out fires and just feeling our own crummy responses to things that we don't want and we didn't really ask for. Haven't you ever felt like you finally get something you wanted in life, but then it breaks or goes away? It's like a constantly moving horizon. And we're always saying, as soon as I get this, as soon as I do that, then I'll feel, then I'll feel, then I'll have. Thing is, the stuff that's outside of us in our physical lives must align to what's inside of us. So if the inside isn't a match, the outside stuff just keeps washing away, needing constant replacement. But again, now you're turning the tables. The way that we build and reshape our interior energetic selves is through our emotions. And I know we've been taught not to trust our feelings, to doubt them, to medicate them, to make them go away. Isn't it interesting that so much of society is focused on controlling or stopping or rigidly containing your emotions? Because they're that powerful. And they should be working for you, not against you. Let's do an exercise. Think of something that you want something that you really, really want, a game changer. If you only had this, if this just happened, everything would be different. Everything would be better. Got it? Now, many of us will immediately think of a thing that we want or need, a partner or more money, a better job, pay off debt, <laughs> family who gets along. In any case though, the thing that pops up for us actually leads to something else. It leads to a feeling. We want that thing because we think it will give us that feeling. We want a partner so we can feel loved and valued and needed. We want money so we can feel safe and at peace that all of our needs are met or, gosh, we have freedom. We don't want to work like we've always had to. We pick money as the thing because we believe that money will get us to those feelings that we actually want. So I call these feelings emotional endpoints. And we plot and plan and choose all kinds of things to get us to these emotional endpoints because what we really want are these feelings, which kind of means that maybe there's more than one thing that can get us to these feelings. So I might be thinking that a profitable side gig or a raise or a better job or even winning the lottery will get me these feelings of safety or freedom and so on. And here's the important thing to remember. The particular path or thing that you're focused on is just one way, one path to get to those feelings. 
It's just the one that happened to be in front of you or was there for you to select from. It might not even be the best path or the easiest one. It's just the one you picked to achieve because it was there and you didn't have any other ideas or, or alternatives, but that's the way you picked to get to those feelings. But what if instead we start focusing just on the feelings themselves? What if we sketch in our blueprint something like, hey, I want to feel like I've got freedom. I have safety and comfort. I have all the resources I need to live a, a carefree and comfortable life. I feel comfortable, safe, full, prosperous. Now, these feelings are what life in your future starts moving toward. And yeah, you'll probably get some money because money does lead to those feelings. But you might also get other things, things that were even easier for life and, and your flow and your future to line up and create for you. Maybe you'll get a beautiful and affordable new home. Um, maybe you'll get a windfall of, of cash, right? But there are lots and lots of ways is what I'm getting at. Lots of ways. The thing you've chosen may not be the easiest or best. So instead, let's go right to that emotional end point. That's the key. That's what I want to feel. I am becoming this now. Every time I feel it, I'm becoming more and more of this feeling. My energy is aligning to this feeling. My emotional self is starting to become more of this feeling. And now every time I walk through life, every minute I walk through life, guess what I'm actually broadcasting and telling life? This is who I am. This is how I feel. And life then is challenged to meet us. Life is challenged to align to us. It's much less about us than trying to align to and figure out and react to life. More of this will make sense as we go on and you become more practiced with this. Just keep listening. It will all sink in. So when you flow dream, I will ask you to feel the emotional endpoints of whatever it is that you need or want. This is your ultimate manifesting goal. Now, in the next video, we're going to do another flow dream where you really feel these emotions about something that you deeply, deeply desire. Are you ready? Let's go and we'll flow.